So yesterday I got to see the strata launch out on the pad and then we happened to come out to the middle of nowhere and look at that twin fuselage. Unfortunately, this is with an iPhone, so 7X zoom, not the best, but. And then what's really cool is look at the perspective. It looks like it's barely moving because it's the largest wingspan in history. It probably has a real low stall speed. So it could probably fly around at just a hundred, couple hundred miles an hour. But uh, you can clearly see the twin fuselage. And then, like I say, look at it in reference to that telephone pole. It almost looks like it's not moving. It's going so slow. And nothing. You can't hear anything. It's got, oh, it's got a chase plane. There's a little chase plane. It'll be hard to see with the phone. But yeah, there it is. Right in the middle. Too cool, man. And then the doggies having a good time. They's having a good time. Doggies chasing rabbits and a little chase plane chasing the largest plane ever created. Love it. Middle of nowhere. Literally. Middle of nowhere. That's all Edwards Air Force Base. Middle of nowhere. I'm like... What an absolute treat to be out on a random walk with the dogs in the middle of nowhere Mojave Desert and see overhead the world's largest plane, the twin fuselage strata launch. I was a photographer for Department of Defense, NASA and SpaceX up on Vandenberg. So I absolutely love these projects and being a part of history. And so to be able to see this one and take this shot of it on the runway, um, absolutely incredible. These are their images I found online, but what a great project. Hats off to the ladies and gentlemen over at Strata Launch and the crew that piloted it. Bravo. Just absolutely incredible.